Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will look at some of the common error interview questions that you can expect as part of your Ansible. Now, uh, these errors are uh, some of the common errors that you can expect in your day-to-day -day activities that uh, uh, you might encounter when you are working with your Ansible and you can expect these questions as part of your uh, interview. So whether you are preparing for an interview or you just want to uh, enhance your uh, skills um, uh, on uh, Ansible, then you are in the right place. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's get started with this. The first question we have is what causes the error unreachable in Ansible and how do you fix it? So this error generally occurs when Ansible is not able to connect to the remote machines. So Ansible is our control machine and Ansible needs to connect to the remote machines to uh, execute the playbooks or to execute the scripts. So whenever Ansible is not able to connect to the remote machines, you will uh, see this error. So common errors can be uh, incorrect SSH credentials or the wrong IP address of the remote machines or uh, some network issues might be the firewall of the remote machines is blocking the uh, connections. So for this, you will need to verify the target host, whether you know you are able to reach the target target host. So uh, you know maybe do a telnet uh, over 22 or see if you are able to SSH to the machine directly. Uh, check if you have the right IP address or the host name of the machine and ensure you are uh, passing the right credentials. So like you know correct having the right SSH key or if you are using password, then you are using the right password. You will need to validate all those things. The next question we have is how do you resolve the error missing sudo password in Ansible? So uh, this error occurs when Ansible needs sudo privileges to perform a task, uh, but it does not have the password to uh, uh, do the sudo. So, you know, any task um, that needs the root privileges, uh, if Ansible does not have that privilege or uh, it's not able to do the sudo, you will get this error. So one option you have is to uh, pass the flag hyphen hyphen ask hyphen become hyphen pass which will prompt you for the sudo password when you're running the playbook. Uh, you can also make use of become as underscore password in the inventory file or in your uh, playbook. And the other option is you can configure a passwordless sudo. So basically uh, do not prompt for a password when you are uh, uh, doing a sudo and this will allow Ansible to execute the task on the remote hosts that need the sudo privileges. The next question we have is what is the error permission denied in Ansible and how do you troubleshoot it? So the permission denied error generally occurs when Ansible is trying to perform an action that needs elevated permissions or it needs elevated privileges or when Ansible does not have sufficient permission to perform the task on your uh, remote machine. So uh, with this you need to ensure so whatever the user you are using with the Ansible that user has the necessary permissions. Um, you can also use this become set to yes in the playbook to have elevated privileges like having the sudo privileges. Um, and then verify that the user can execute the task manually. So if your Ansible is not able to execute the task, um, uh, log in as that user and see if you're able to execute the task to basically see if the user has all the necessary permissions. The next question we have is how do you fix the error hosts not found in Ansible? So this generally occurs when um, Ansible is not able to find the specified host in the inventory file. So in the playbook, in the target section whatever the host you are using if that host is not available in the inventory file you will see this error so you'll need to check the inventory file for the correct host definition so maybe there is a typo or um, uh, that host itself is not defined you'll need to check and then uh, you'll need to also ensure that you're using the correct um, uh, inventory file path uh, so if you have a custom inventory file then you can use this hyphen i option to uh, specify the correct inventory file when you're running your playbook. So uh, ansible hyphen playbook hyphen i and then the path of your inventory file to uh, specify your custom inventory file. Uh, you can make use of the hyphen i option. The next question we have is what does the error module failure indicate in ansible and how can you resolve it? So this error generally occurs when the Ansible module is not able to execute the task on the remote host. Now there could be multiple reasons for this. One could be that there is an error with the syntax. 
or there are certain dependencies which are missing or we have passed incorrect parameters when using the module. So for this we will need to look at the error message you know if it is giving any specific details in the error message um, uh, ensure that the module is installed and uh, correctly configured and then check for any syntax errors within the playbook. So check if the module is available check if there are any syntax errors check if you are passing the correct parameters we will need to check all those things. The next question we have is how do you handle the error SSH authentication failed in Ansible. So this error occurs again when Ansible is not able to authenticate to the remote machines via SSH. So with this again we will need to validate if you are passing the right um, uh, credentials information like the SSH key or you are using the right password to connect to the remote machines. Uh, we need to also ensure that the SSH keys are added to the SSH agent file and then check if the SSH key has all the necessary permissions and the remote user's SSH configuration. So basically check if you are using the right key or the right password, if the key has the necessary permissions, uh, the user's SSH configuration is correct, we will need to basically validate all those things. The next question we have is how do you resolve the error syntax error in Ansible playbooks. So this error occurs when there is uh, some uh, issue with the YAML file that we have uh, written the playbook itself. So we'll need to check if the syntax in the playbooks is correct. Uh, your Ansible will tell you if uh, if there's some uh, error with the with the playbook. Uh, we can also uh, check for syntax errors by using some tools. So we have this ansible-lint which can be used to check for syntax errors before running the playbooks. We can also use this yaml lint to check for syntax errors. Uh, we'll also need to make sure we're using proper indentations. So since uh, we use yaml for the playbooks, uh, yaml heavily depends on the indentation. So we need to ensure we are having the right indentations. Uh, we're using the right colons, we're using the right dashes. So we'll need to ensure all those things. And then review the playbook for any missing characters or there are any extra characters there is any typo in the commands that we have been using we will need to check all those things the next question we have is what is the error undefined variable in ansible and how do you fix it now this error generally occurs when we are trying to refer a variable that is not defined or the variable is not available in the correct context. So basically here um, we are expecting a variable to be defined and then we are referring that. However, the variable itself is not available. So we will need to ensure that the variable is defined in the right place, maybe inside the playbook or in the, in the in inventory file or in a separate variable files, we'll need to validate that. And then we'll need to verify the scope of the variable, whether it's a local variable or a global variable, we need to verify the scope and then check for any typos um, in the name of the variable. Uh, we can also use this default filter to provide a fallback value, like, um, you know, this can be used to pass a default value for the variable. So uh, even if the value is not passed or the variable is not declared, the default uh, will be picked up as a fallback value for the variable. The next question we have is how do you troubleshoot the error failed to connect to the host via SSH in Ansible. So again this error occurs when Ansible is an, unable to connect to the remote machines over SSH. So they, basically the SSH connection is uh, not established with the remote machines. So with this we'll need to check the configuration of the SSH and we'll need to make sure that the host is reachable. So we can do a tel telnet, we can do a ping to see if we are able to connect to the machines and then verify whether the SSH service is running on the target machine. So sometimes uh, the SSH service might be down and uh, that might be the reason we are not able to connect to the machine. Uh, we'll also need to ensure we're using the correct SSH port. So 22 is the default one. So we need to ensure we're using the right port number and then validate any firewall settings or any security groups uh, to make sure uh, there's no uh, firewalls that is blocking the SSH traffic. The next question we have is what causes the error no hosts matched in Ansible and how do you resolve it. So this error occurs when none of the hosts that we have defined in the inventory file match with the host that we have defined in the playbook. So let's say in the inventory file we have defined a group with the name app underscore servers 
and then uh, in the playbook we are using app underscore server without an s so we'll need to ensure there's no mismatch we're using the right host name so uh, ensure that the inventory contains the host um, in the specified group the the host that we are trying to refer in the playbook check for any typo so most of the time it will be a typo error uh, in the group name both in the inventory file as well as your uh, playbooks uh, and then we can also make use of the hyphen i option to specify the correct inventory file so maybe uh, uh, we are referring the default path where the inventory file is not available uh, we can make use of the hyphen i option to uh, specify the custom path where the inventory file is available the next question we have is how do you fix the error command not found when running a playbook in ansible so this error occurs when ansible is trying to run a command on the target machine but then that command is not available so it could be the module is missing or the module does not support that command could be multiple reasons for it so for this we we'll need to ensure that the command is installed on the target host or the package is installed on the target host whatever the command that we are trying to uh, use like let's say uh, the yum package or the apt package or the service package so any any command that you are trying to use so use the package a module to install the necessary package or use the yum module to install the necessary package on the uh, target machines before running the command and then you can also verify the commands path if it's uh, not in the default path like your environment variable so we'll need to verify that as well so basically ensure that the command that we're trying to use is available on the target machine um, uh, before we run the playbook the next question we have is how do you handle the error template error in ansible so this error occurs when there's a problem with the jinja 2 template there's some rendering problem with the template uh, so this can happen due to incorrect variable references or some syntax errors in the template so again uh, could be some typo with the variable name or the variable name is not declared or some syntax error could be indentations or colons or dashes so we'll need to check the template file for any syntax errors uh, we'll also need to ensure that all the variables that we are using in the template are defined and the the scope is available right the variables are accessible so we can also uh, check the syntax of the uh, template before running it so we can use this ansible hyphen playbook hyphen hyphen syntax hyphen check to identify if there's some issue with the template next question we have is what is the error task includes uh, an undefined variable in ansible and how do you fix it so again this occurs when we are referencing a variable that is not defined so we need to ensure that the variable is defined in the appropriate scope so uh, if you are calling it in the variable then it's defined in the variable or in the inventory file or in the variables files uh, check for any typos in the variable name and then make use of the default filter to handle cases where uh, va variables might not be defined so we can make use of the default filter for that next question we have is how do you troubleshoot the error failed to download remote file in ansible so this error can occur when we are trying to download a file but then ansible is not able to download that file from the path the remote path that, that we have specified so with this we need to ensure that we are giving the right url to the remote file or we are giving the right path to the uh, remote file check if there is any connectivity issues uh, whether you are able to access the url or the path and then verify the permissions and availability of the remote file uh, to basically ensure so ensuring the file is available we're using the right path there's no network issues we'll need to validate all those things next question we have is what causes the error unsupported parameter in ansible and how do you resolve it so the unsupported parameter error can occur when uh, uh, we're using a parameter in the playbook that is not supported by the module all right so with this we'll need to check uh, the module documentation as to what all parameters that it supports uh, remove or correct the unsupported parameters and then update the playbook to use the correct syntax and correct parameters for the module that we are using and that brings us to the end of our some of the common errors that you can expect as, as part of your ansible now these are some of the questions that you can expect as part of your um, ansible interview 
I hope you found this video helpful and um, um, uh, help you better in terms of your interview preparation. If you did found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get updated whenever I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.